Yo, what's up? Um, about two years ago, um, I started working on trying to put together a, a group of some of my closest friends uh, with a goal in mind, uh, finding out how to really become a godly man. And um, the reason being is because I found out that I was only a good bruh as long as I stayed in folks good graces and honestly that wasn't good enough I wanted to be what God wanted me to be and so what I did is I started looking through scripture for a template of what does a godly man look like and as I started to form my list and look at other lists of what godly men were I found out I kept falling short so what I decided to do is, is reach out to some of my closest friends all of them who I knew that were followers of Christ or um, wanting to be better men as far as men of, men of God and um, we decided to do this thing um, virtually. And so, um, man, it's been absolutely amazing. Uh, the average age difference between the youngest member and the oldest member on there typically is about 50 years. A lot of times we're looking at three, sometimes four generations of men. And I'm talking real conversation, no no cute church conversations. And um, what I love about it is people allow themselves to be vulnerable. Yes, I've put my dirty laundry out there before them. And um, uh, the love that's in this group is absolutely amazing. But what I asked was, I asked those guys, because I can talk about this all day long. And, of course, people will think that I'm pumping this group up or whatever. Um, so I asked some of the men to, to come in and, and talk about what one to the head is to them and um, also what it has been to them. Uh, you'd be amazed of uh, the love that's in this group, the power that's in this group. And so what I want to do is just offer you an opportunity to see some of the different faces from across the country, from different backgrounds that belong to one to the head. And just so you can get a sneak peek of some of the, the power and the love that's within our group. Um, and if there's a man out there who's willing to, willing to step up to the challenge, who really desires to be more than just a good man, uh, but to be a godly man, um, hit me up. Um, we would love to bring you in the group, uh, introduce you to the brothers and continue to grow with one another. God bless you. Hello, my name is William Brown Sr. Uh, Doc Pop Brown. I'm a father, a grandfather. I'm a friend to some. Uh, I'm here just to, to encourage and to share the fact that I belong to a men's ministry by the name of One to the Head. It's a, a gathering place of men all over the country where we get together and share men things. You know, we talk about the problems that men have, the, the choice that men have. We talk about the encouraging things that men can. But most of all, we talk about the fact that we're all striving to be godly men. Uh, godly men, not just good men, but godly men. So I am indeed uh, blessed to be a member of this, all, this group of men. And every week, well, we share ideas and we share testimonies and we share God's blessings with each other. And we talk about how we can make this world a better place to live. So I encourage men all over the country who can get to this this. This, this room where we meet every week because I feel like I own a piece of it. I have a little square that I sit in every week and, and we talk about all kinds of things that are detrimental and, and, and necessary for men to grow to be godly men. So we, we ask you to pray for this our ministry called One to the Head Ministry where we're working hard to be transformed into the creatures that God has made us to be. God bless you all. William Doc. Pop Brown from Leavenworth, Kansas. God bless you all. Hey, Pastor B, Jason here, speaking on one to the head. Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me to the group. Um, I remember the day you asked me, I was really excited, you know, with the COVID, having everything shut down. Um, I was looking for a place for some Christian fellowship, and uh, this group has met, met more than my expectations. Um, we've got a group of men from all over the place with uh, different backgrounds and upbringings and different experiences and uh, all sharing those in the name of Christ. Um, it's great to have a group of uh, brothers in Christ who can get together and meet and talk and uh, share experiences and uh, 
help each other through difficult times. Um, being a teacher, when I was a young teacher, I enjoyed talking to the older teachers um, about how to handle classroom things. And now that I'm a more seasoned coach and uh, teacher, um, I enjoy listening to the uh, perspective of, of the younger people. And uh, this group has it. Uh, this group has younger, older, like I said, people from different backgrounds sharing their experiences. But uh, at the end, we all come together as uh, brothers in Christ. Um, I'm really extremely proud of the young brothers we have in our group. Um, not so sure at that age I was able to do that and share my experiences and perspectives with things. Uh, they are uh, great young men. Uh, this group has meant a lot to me, as in uh, knowing that we can battle through all different types of problems and uh, knowing that it comes back to recognizing that Christ is our Lord and Savior and with him all things are possible. Uh, thank you for inviting me to the group and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. So let me tell you a little bit about this group, one to the head. And our brother, my brother, uh, you may know as Pastor uh, Brown, what us together across the nation, young, old, and we get together and we just talk about whatever the, you know, the subject may be, the topic may be, but the brotherhood that has grown from this group over the months now that we've been established, um, it's, it's unparalleled. Um, we have at least three different generations of men on there and we enjoy and look forward to every single Thursday. Even on the nights where I'm dead tired, I'll make a way, find a way, do my best to get on there and fellowship with these guys um, from all walks of life. And we all come together with one common goal in mind, and that's to be godly men. What has one to the head been for me? Um, I would say, honestly, blessings. Nothing but blessings. One. Uh, thank you to Pastor Brown and all the fellas in the group, uh, you know, because I feel like as a young member in the group, it is very easy to get lost in this world that we live in and the society that we live in. And, you know, for a group of men to say that we're family and we got your back, you know, for me as a young man, it's hard for me to believe that. It was very hard for me to believe that even when I was in the group participating, um, the point in my life where I kind of ducked out and kind of got away from the group, kind of got away from God. A lot of things was happening, what's happening in my life. And I just felt like over, overbared almost to where, to the point where I couldn't even, some of the things I was juggling in my life were, I just felt like they weren't for me. And when I would try to get rid of this group, there would always be something in me that was like, yeah, you, you know, you need to go back to them. Like, you know, you need to present yourself correctly to them. Like, you know, you need to apologize. You know, you need to clear up why you've been gone because these are men who check on you. They look after you. They think about you. They pray for you. You know what I mean? So it's like to have somebody praying for you and to blatantly disrespect them, I guess you'll say. Like, I took that to heart and it really challenged my character, it challenged who I, who I was, who I am with God. It challenged a lot of things. And the more I would you know, ignore it. The more I would see Pastor B still texting me, you know, his notification pop up on my phone, still texting me, still trying to get me involved. Like, I understood that it was bigger than just me going to the group. It was bigger than that. It was my soul. It was like the fact that I can sit here and say that I have somebody fighting for me. I got a group of men who are pushing for me, that I will prevail, that God has what's best for me and that he'll overcome it all because he has already. When I sit down and think about that, I'm just thankful and I'm grateful because it's like, even when I feel alone, even when I feel like I'm, I'm not good enough or I can't make it, I still got this group of guys behind me and they're encouraging me and pushing me on and, you know, just thoughtful, I think is so important in today's society, you know, just the thoughtfulness of others about your life and about your well-being and about your relationship with God. I think that's the most important part and I really gravitated towards that and sorry fellas I've been gone for so long but I'm excited you know to have this new fire lit under me and you know I see y'all on Thursday. 
I took one to the head about four months ago, meeting with a group of men across the United States that had one thing in common, and it was God. God leading us through our lives and wanting to be better. Without this group, I would be stuck on how to be a better man, not only in my house, but in the world today. I've made friendships that I would have never dreamed of, but it's been something wonderful that I could see a bunch of men and grow in it as a brothers in Christ. I've met men from all different walks of life. All of us have the same purpose to be one and to be more godly men. Without this group, I probably would have suffered through a lot of depression, a lot of times of not knowing what to do. They gave me the spirit to go through things, through COVID, through family issues, to talk through them, to get advice, and at the same time, be there for them. I love the support this group uh, puts out to everyone in the group and how we support each other being across the United States. Because of them, I grow in my faith and in my spirit. Amen. Good morning. This is Chaplain James W. Gladden, um, stationed at Joint Base Lewis McCord. Um, Proverbs 27 and 17 says this. It says, iron sharpens iron as one man sharpens the countenance of another. Um, I thank God for you men. I thank God for you all in the one to the head group. I think you're doing an amazing thing, you know, coming together and being vulnerable with one another and really, really getting down to the root of manhood and what it takes to be a man in this world that we live in. Um, I thank God for you all. Pastor Kai, I thank you for um, coming up with this idea and, and coming up with this concept so men can strengthen one another. I just pray right now that... um. Everything that you guys come up with, that you do great things in the state of Kansas and, and the bordering states in the Midwest and hopefully around the country, man. This thing should just catch on like wildfire. So I just say this. If you need anything from me, man, I, I'm here for you. I love you guys. And I thank you all for affording me the privilege to be a part of it. And I pray that I can get back on it as much as I would like to. And just pray for all soldiers and, and all men around the world because we really do have a great burden that God has placed upon us. Um, I thank you. I love you. And to the one to the head group, um, continue to do great things, man. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you all in the future. Amen. Goodbye. My name is Dwayne Banks, and one to the head means a lot to me. Uh, before this group, I never had a male well-rounded group that I could go to and talk about, you know, my daily challenges and obstacles that I face. Um, there's no judgment in this group. There's no anything. It's just raw, real. Everybody listens to what you have to say, and everybody gives their input um, how they're feeling. And nine times out of ten, you're not the only one feeling like that when you come to the group and you express, you know, how you're feeling. So this group has been a blessing to me, and I'm very, very, very satisfied with it. And I hope whoever sees this video, if you're thinking about joining the group, we would love to have you. And we'll see you on a Thursday or a Monday, whatever day of the week you choose. Have a blessed day. actually tell you how I heard about Kai Brown is actually several years ago probably around 2013 2014 and he was sending out text messages called little nuggets and that's how I heard about him and then from that I heard about his church and then I heard about his Bible study and you know he prays and prayer works is something I always say and I like that he prays a lot so we actually went to a couple of his Bible studies in person before before COVID hit and then um, when I was hearing about this in his prayer line I was telling everybody about it. I told my cousins in Chicago, I told them in Florida, and all of them was actually calling in. I have one cousin who y'all probably hear typing all the time, Juliet. Hopefully I didn't spill the beans who she is, but she even talking about moving down here just to go to his church. But from that, 
um, he came up with Want You to Head for the Men's Ministry. And with the men's ministry, I found that as a safe haven as us men from all across the U.S. can get together. And we see that we have a lot of problems or not issues in common. And we can let our guard down and actually talk about that and pray on it and let God take his way on that. So what has Want You to Head been to me? It's been a good prayer line where I have met a lot of other men, a lot of strong men, where we can all lean on each other. And as you know, the old saying, iron sharpens iron, we can actually do that also. So I like the program, or I like his prayer line, one to the head, and I'm looking forward to doing it for as long as we can. And that's all I have.